Hey guys, wrapping up our series about you can't love God and you cannot love God and hate the church. Got a minute? Now, I've been excited about this one since the very beginning because I've even walked into Christian bookstores and found books that said, Jesus, I love you, but I hate your followers. I hate your church. And this is in a Christian bookstore. But one thing I think you need to understand is that Christ died for the church. He sacrificed his life for his bride, which is his church. The book of Ephesians says this, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word, and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. So Jesus is actively participating in making this bride spotless by washing her. But I want you to think about this. If I have a relationship with you and you say that you love me, but you hate my wife, at the very least, our relationship is going to be hindered. You hate the most important person in my life. And if you made me choose between our relationship and a relationship with my wife, I'm going to choose my wife every time because I have made a vow to her. I am devoted to her. Now, I'm not going to pretend that the church is perfect now. This process that Jesus is washing the bride through, we're going through that now, which means that there are a lot of people in the church that are hurting other people. And those hurts are completely legitimate. You can be hurt from the church, but that doesn't mean that you get to hate the church. Not minimizing the amount of hurt or amount of pain that you have, but whenever we sit in a place where we say that we hate the church, we are hating the very thing that Christ died for. Yes, he died for you. He died for me. We together are the church. And some people might say, well, God can make that distinction between me and the church. And, you know, I'm a part of the church. But here's the thing. I love my wife's kneecaps, but that's just because it's a part of the big piece. So I'm going to tell you this. Yes, you can have pain. There might be a season where you are have left one church and you're trying to connect back in. But God has a place for you in the church, and God says that he saved you with a purpose. You are a piece of the church, so that church needs you, whatever church he calls you to. And you don't leave that church until he calls you away from it. So we need to rethink this. We need to understand that Christ is the head of the church, which means he's in charge and he sees everything. So these people that are in the church and hurting other people, those things are going to come to the light. And whenever they do, then we have to be the church there too. And we have to trust that Jesus knows what he's doing and that he has your best interest at heart. And if you can trust that, then you can trust that he's going to take care of whatever issues are going on at the church and that he's going to place you in a church that's going to help you grow. So guys, plug into a church. Find somewhere for you to worship. Find somewhere that allows you to grow and allows you to minister and allows you to love God. Thanks for taking a minute.